what up how's it going so last episode we got to see tony go over to italy he's coming back with some guys that he thinks is going to be like you know hard workers because as we see his guys it's not just that they they're a little long in the tooth like they've been doing it for a while and things have you know they just going through the motions of being a gangster. I know that sounds crazy, right? But those guys over there, they're not going through the motions. It's something he noticed. He's like, listen, we're going to do this car thing. Let me get some folks. Right? And so he did the deal. He met up with old ch with the chick. That was a dope episode too, right? So let's go ahead and start this episode because I'm looking at the description. It says, Furio lives up to his name by unleashing his fury on the del delinquent proprietor of a tanning salon. So... <laughs> It's about to go down. Let's go. How's it going, buddy? Don't you own a fucking mirror? You look like you've been French kissing the Pillsbury Doughboy. What the fuck, Dominic? Yeah, what the fuck, uh, Dominic? Jeff. Three fucking weeks in a row now? Business slow, we tell you. She know we he got security. work to do. What is she we know doing? You do we pay no more. What'd she fucking say? No, <laughs> the don't listen to her. Come on, honey. Let's go. Good. You got money for blow, but not for us, huh? Chris, please. You drug addict motherfucker. This shit's unacceptable. Forget this fancy shit. You know what you need here? Top-notch mozzarella maker. Like that kid from the other side. Best fucking cheese we ever had. He makes buffalo mozzarella. He's a master cheese maker. Are you trying to tell a so chef cool. about... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? All right. You know the guy I was talking about over there? The cheese? Yeah. It's my cousin. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I haven't told anybody yet, but he's coming over. Oh, so no. maybe you could hire him, you know, oh, help me out with the immigration. No. I'll take care of the money. How does he want to come here? He's got a job over there. You know what? Either do me the favor or not. Third grade on up. You needed something. I was there. No questions. This is acting for writers. And your first assignment is to act like a writer who gets here on time. Over the next few weeks, we'll focus on improv and scene study. Uh, Mitch McDermott. Born oh, and raised God. in Hartsdale, but please don't hold that against Mitch me. Mitch McDermott. Uh, uh, right now, I'm on the sales team down at Chick Brower, Porsche Audi. My name is Chris McAvity. I work <laughs> on Wall Street. You write? Yeah, yeah, I want to write for the movies. Goodfellas, shit like that. Any special reason you chose this class? It was a birthday present for my girlfriend. Soprano, seen here in an FBI surveillance photo with family associate Salvatore Big Pussy Bompensero, was believed to be the target of a botched murder attempt last year. Jesus fucking Christ. How come every person I take is a fucking news story? Let's go back to you in the studio. Sports, business news, hmm. and... Friend of ours is coming in. Who? Oh, Moritz his wife. Yeah. Furio. Furio, come in here. What? To see what indoor plumber looks like? I'm making some changes. Well, thanks for fucking telling me. I do something wrong? Sunday. My house. Box of Malamos on the counter. Fucking empty. You think I don't know it was you? I'm kidding you, you fuck. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Listen, him coming over is good. You're getting a bump. If I find an excuse, I'll do a dime for jaywalking. It's me, then you and Sil together. That's the new pecking order. Pussy reports to you guys, directly. It was a downpour. He couldn't see anything. The dream. It was impossible. Where are you in the dream? I'm there. I could observe everything. You're out of the woods, you're out of the woods. Get into They're in the, the poppy light, field. get into the sun. He goes into a full-blown panic attack, and he passes out. He crashes into this huge truck. The fact that he can't see the road ahead suggests my abandoning him. Who in Wizard would your patient be? Given the fact that he's a powerful, dominating male, Oz himself? The Wizard of Oz, what memories does it conjure up? My parents' house, watching it on TV, hiding under the blanket with my sister. Why do we love roller coasters, Jennifer? Scary movies? To experience the thrill of being terrified without the consequences. That's very good, Elliot. Great film, but uh, some terrifying moments. That's very perceptive. I'm concerned that treating a mobster provides you some vicarious thrill. Mm -hmm. It wasn't exactly vicarious. I had to go into hiding, remember? And wasn't that thrilling? Fuck you. You think this is funny. You smug cocksucker. Fuck you. That fucking bitch. What's the matter? 
It's a bank. She's trying to take out a loan on my mother's house. Parvani? Janice. Her name is fucking Janice, OK? It's not enough that she's living rent free. She's got to try to squeeze money out of the fucking house, too. Fucking goddamn fucking bitch! God damn it, Tony! <laughs> I'm sorry. Why don't you grow the fuck up? Forgot to tell you, I got a job at Radio Shack. Product testing. Giving that phone an F for durability. What the fuck are you doing here? Where's my sister? The store. You want some eggs? Do I want some eggs? <laughs> Why don't you put your fucking pants on? Want some eggs. Man, fuck them eggs. So what the fuck, Rich? The mattress at the shelter a little too lumpy? We're adults, Tony. And we got history together. Yeah. Israel and fucking Palestine. I thought a lot about her. Ten years, you thought about Janice? There are men in the camp better looking at my sister. <laughs> I hope you're not thinking about moving in here. I'm picking up where we left off. High school, grabbing blowjobs on my mother's couch. You crossed the line on me once, Anthony, and I held my tongue. She may be your sister, but back the fuck off. You know, all due respect. What the fuck do you know about respect? I put you back in business, you cocksucker. Did you go see Beansy? Fucking paraplegic? Why don't you make him some fucking eggs? Hello? I thought that was Where do you get the car. balls to take out a loan on his house? What is it, his fucking idea? Like you can pay it the fuck back? I'm quite capable of getting a job, Tony. Yeah, with your carpal tunnel syndrome? How are you gonna hold a beggar's cup? I applied for the loan simply because I'm trying to make this place habitable for Mom. She's so ridiculous. Take care of the loan. Don't worry about it. I'll give you the money. Oh, look at this. <laughs> How's your fucking habit oh. here? What's the trouble here, officer? Your wife's getting a ticket. Maybe I can change your mind. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You're dropping your fucking oranges. <laughs> Great improv. There we have it, huh? <laughs> Listen, um, any questions? The breast me, Nubogopo, Lil HR. Toby tells me nothing. Who's the zip anyway? He's a friend of ours. We'll talk later. What's the man? No. The television. The, the satellite. What? The AMC. <laughs> Two women is on. What the fuck? He's on vacation? Yeah. He saw a travel poster for sunny New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Guess I didn't get the memo. Would you have read it if you got one? Where the fuck you been anyway? Did you talk to that guy down at the uh, tanning salon? He only had half. Again? Ask me. It's that Chinese cunt he's married to. Bad influence. She's a Filipino. I was about to make the correction, I but sure I was like, yeah, want. never mind. I want you to send him a past due notice. What the fuck you think I want? All right, I'll take care of it. <laughs> uh, you know? No, no. You know what? This is hilarious. The juxtaposition. He's over there. Sure. He's living it up. He's cool yeah. with the kids. And he's going to go over there. And he's going to maul that motherfucker. Carmela. What do you want? I brought some cookies. Pignones. A relative from the other side is here. I should pay my respect. You tried to get Tony out the paint. And he's showing up. A guy named Danny Greco called me. He asked me for a loan. He said, you'll vouch. For Danny? Yeah. I told you Danny was good for whatever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh? At the steakhouse. Oh, yeah. Within yeah, a few yeah. minutes. Uh, Out of any fucking scale you want to use, things are going good. I'm firmly in charge. No trouble there. My family is healthy. So why the fuck am I ripping phones out of the wall in front of my kid and screaming at my sister all the fucking time, although she is totally unimportant to me? You got a lot on your mind. See, that's the point. You never saw Carlo or Lucky or Douglas MacArthur going around punching fucking walls. What if I told you I went to see a shrink? I had an inkling. Just like your father. What is? That's the same thing. My old man had anxiety attacks? Well, in those days, we called it a condition. It didn't happen that often, once or twice a year. Did he go to a doctor? Damn. Your father? What, are you kidding? Wouldn't have made any difference in those days. They wouldn't know how to treat that shit. Not much better now. I had this fucking weird dream the other night. You know, when I had the polyps, they put me through that fucking MRI. I'm telling you. I think they used my ass to invent some new tests. I was at the beach. But I had a suit on. And a shoes, too. You have a camera up your ass the size of a garden hose. You want to hear this fucking dream or not? All right. It's my scene. Gentleman call a guy 
It's, uh, not me. Rebel without a cause. James Dean. Copy it for the others, okay? Take it home, get comfortable with it. It's great. Cool. I don't want a James Dean impression. Yeah. No. Poor creatures. You are such poor creatures. Hmm. She's gonna choke. Little fishes, they're hungry. For fucking cheese doodles, they're not. They eat bread and what corn and shit like that. What is wrong with her? So you know everything. Yeah, I do. You know Family more than you. Family lived in my pool for two fucking months. <laughs> He knows more than you. He sees some ducks around where he lived <laughs> for a couple months. Oh, oh. He said, if I don't like to fight, I should find myself a Russian. You should mind your own fucking business. I make business. She's a nice girl. Yeah, what are you, a family counselor? You want to get involved in people's problems? Here. Now you're fucking involved, okay? <laughs> Something seems off in this episode. It seems like a fucking 1980s comedy or some shit. From from Chris putting the paintbrush in the dude's nose to that right there, and him yelling my testicles, and then them even holding the long shot. That seemed like one of them Saturday morning shows, like Baywatch. Like that right there. What are we doing here? <laughs> I still needed to see him walk away to understand what just took Come place. On. Yo, I'm dying. She got on floaties. Why do you always have to ruin everything? Huh? Hey, I mean, he can't even have peace with the side piece. Huh? Help me. 